Hey guys, I made it to Georgia. Um, just at a rest stop, getting some gas. Um, it's a little sketchy around here. Some some small town off 95 in Georgia. But uh, got about five hours to go, and I uh, should get in around midnight, and then I'll be out hunting in the morning, hopefully. So fingers crossed. I love that hat, Kelly. Did you make that? Nope. No. My mother-in-law bought it. Nice. She's putting on, nice putting on your girdle? Yeah. This stand's only like 12 feet. I would feel completely comfortable jumping out of it, but... <laughs> In the name of safety. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I would not feel comfortable jumping out of it. No. Going in for the afternoon. Across this bench from right to left. I couldn't tell what it was though. Okay, it's the uh, second morning of my hunt. It's kind of slow today, uh, so far anyway. Um, the weather was calling for gusty winds and it was gusty. It probably gusts to 35 or 40. Uh, I got into some thick cover, but uh, just nothing was moving, at least not in the area I was, I was in. Usually, like, you know, you either bump a deer or or hear one chase in a doe, a buck, but um, nothing today. So, so the winds are supposed to calm down a bit, so hoping this afternoon we can get it done. These two deer came in around 9.30 or so. A big doe jumped out of frame and I forgot to move the camera over that direction.
morning turned out to be a clean mess. I decided to come back to the same show line in the afternoon. I didn't have to wait long. This young buck came out right before dark. He only ran about 30 yards and stopped on the side of the hill. Yep. White belly, white tail. Oh, I've had a hard hunt. This is the last evening. I technically could probably hunt tomorrow evening too, but I gotta get back to work on Monday. It's it's Thanksgiving Day. So uh I'm excited. <laughs> I'm gonna have meat in the freezer. And I hunted hard five days. Spent a lot of time in the woods. It's been great. Had a miss this morning. No excuse, just I, I don't know what happened to shut low. But uh, I don't mess with that 243 very often. Or any rifle for that matter. There it is. Yearling. Should be delicious. Well, I was able to get one in the last evening of my hunt here in North Carolina. Been hunting hard all week. Started as a bow hunt and just wasn't seeing many deer. So I uh, switched to black powder the second day. And I had a miss with the black powder this morning. So I figured, well, I need to get some meat for the freezer for the winter. So I was happy to have this one come in. Um, last half hour white. Made a good shot on it. Second shot is off camera. Um, but uh, just dropped on the second shot. I gotta see where the first one hit it, but it definitely broke its front shoulder in the first hit because I could see it running off, kind of lame on the left side, so out of breath. <laughs> it's pretty exciting. So it's been a great hunt. Thanks to Dalton Lewis and his wife Callie for letting me stay with them for this past week. We've been known each other, I guess 10 or 11 years. We've been hunting together for a long time. So I appreciate them putting me up, putting up with me, <laughs> feeding me. But uh, I'm excited to get this this uh, young buck. Um, it's going to be great eating. Mary Lucy and I really love venison and Nick too, my son Nick. So uh, it's, a, it's a great day, great way to finish the hunt.